Well, hello there. Welcome to my channel. Ball cap, Casey. It be Saturday morning here for me. I slept in. You know, some days, especially when it's it's getting colder, and I had a nice bed to sleep in last night. I just did not want to get in. I was fighting with the pillow. All right, let me get up, make some coffee, go make a couple dollars here with DoorDash. Um, at least I didn't have to wait. Sometimes, you know, when you click on the DoorDash, I'm ready to work. As soon as you push the button, you're getting a trip, which I got right now. I'm going to, you guys can probably guess, McDonald's, right? That's probably my, that's definitely my number one uh, customer's my number one destination to pick up. So we're gonna show you guys a little bit. If you stay tuned, I'll show you guys a, eh, a few deliveries. And uh, so if you're interested in that, stick on by and I'll share some some uh, current events and some news and we'll talk about some uh, whatever's on my mind. So stay tuned, come along with me on my door dashing. Don't turn it off yet, okay? some it's november here in the northwest northwest november is usually the rainiest month i think on record it is um we had the good wind storm and i gotta clean off my cars i got about a million pine needles on my car and look at mcdonald's what is it it is kind of late already it's only nine o'clock the drive through line's already backed up. I'm, I'm predicted to be, yeah, this is going to be probably a long wait in the lobby. I'm doing, cutting through the parking spot here like this. And uh, let's pick up the Mickey D's. I got just one order. Let's get right here in front. And we'll, we'll pick this up. And it looks like there's a, a few people waiting. And, and we'll see. It's 9 27 to be exact. Let's see how long it takes me to pick up this McDonald's. Amazing. It's all about timing, I guess. But sometimes you'll wait. No wait. Sometimes you'll be in there. I've been in there 20 plus minutes. Actually, last week I was waiting at McDonald's. It was 30 minutes plus, and I just said, cancel. I'm not doing it. I think I, I shared that with you guys last week, but there, three minutes, so not bad. There was a bunch of people waiting for their food in there and a, a couple other door dashers and Uber Eats. So I just got lucky. And got mine right away. So there we go, let's go to the customer's house. All right, got that finished, that McDonald's run. Just keep giving me those, man, McDonald's, and then right around here to these neighborhoods, that, that'll add up quick. I like that. Bring me those McDonald's. So, um, as soon as I finished that one, though, I got another one going 16.8 miles <laughs> for $7. $7.50, seven I think, to be exact. You think I take that? No, I did not take that. I declined that. I'm like, not going all the way over 17 miles out in the country. So then you got to come back. Anyway, just decline it. Move on. And, um, oh, just a reminder, um, to take a look at the instructions. Cause that last one, um, said like, you know, put it behind the gate. You know, I had some, there's all kinds of things, you know, that, that, that the customers will want you to do. Please go upstairs and, um, to the back door, uh, my house, or if it's a, like a, a, a commercial, I'll meet you out in, in the lobby or, Put it in the dog house. I had one other day at a business. I'm not gonna be able to meet you out there because there are all kinds of gate access. Please put it in the back of my, my old Ford pickup truck. And as soon as I got there, there was like three old Ford pickup trucks. So I, I texted there. I said, which one? Which which one's your license plate? This one, okay. So I put the, her bag in the back of her Ford pickup truck and got out of there. So just a reminder to look at the instructions. But do the instructions change? Like when you order DoorDash, do the instructions remain from the last your last order? Because, for instance, I had a, a pickup, I think it was at Dairy Queen, got some ice cream. 
but all the instructions that said, please put, uh, pick up forks and knife, plastic forks, knives, napkins, napkins I can see, forks and knife, and, and then it said red chili, and, and can you pick up please the red sauce and the green sauce? Like, okay, whatever, I, I don't care how you wanna eat your ice cream, you wanna put hot sauce on it, whatever, I'm just gonna follow the <laughs> instructions. In my mind, you know, I'm guessing, okay, this is probably from a previous order, I guess, from like, you know, a Mexican restaurant. But let me ask the Dairy Queen employee here, hey, do you guys have red and green sauce? And they're like, no, sir, we don't have those sauces. Like, okay, it's probably from a previous order. So, people that are ordering DoorDash, don't confuse us. People like me, anyway, I get confused these. I'm like, what is all this? I'll get it. I've had some people request, you know, hey, can you get extra cups and this and that, and, and I'll, I'll get the stuff that's in the instructions that makes that makes sense, or even sometimes that don't make sense. I just get majority of the stuff that says on the instructions. I try to follow instructions. And I said, I was trying to get the green and red sauce. They didn't have any there at the Dairy Queen. You know, I'm back over here staged. Man, the line even got longer. I'm here back at McDonald's and hoping to get another trip here at McDonald's. So we'll see you guys in a bit. Well, guys, you can see where I'm at. Back at Mickey, Mickey D's. Check out, check out this McDonald's. You get surprised. Which toy will you get? It's like a mystery toy here, huh? You might not be happy. You are not get what you want. Well, guys. Well, guys, I'm batting two for two. Went in there. It was all ready. I'm walking out. Let's go. I'm loving it. Yep, I always knock the horn. Knock the horn? Beep the horn. When I back out, it's just a habit I've I've had ever since when I was in the military. It was something we had to do when we were backing out of the, the high bay, the garage, when I was in the service. My sergeant, hey, make sure you knock. I don't want you to run into anything. Yes, sergeant, okay. Anyway, so we got it. We got. Hey, I'm batting two for two, baby. Speaking of batting two for two, right? Who's been watching the World Series? I like baseball. I kind of. I grew up with baseball. I played. Well, I, 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 <laughs> I tried to play, but I played ever since I was a little pee wee. I was a t ball, whatever that age was. Can't remember, but I know I played a couple years with t ball and. Um, I played with the the youth center on base. I always had a I always had a uh, I was outfield. I remember as a kid a little bit, and then I turned into first baseman. I'm a, I'm a left hander, so first baseman's ideal it's because you can get that stretch and uh, the way you're facing the uh, infield. It's ideal for first baseman to play first base or first. <laughs> it's ideal. I need some more coffee, guys. It's ideal for left handers to play <laughs> first base. So I played first base, but then I pitched. I didn't do too bad. Um, I, I pitched in uh, junior high school. I was actually the starter there in junior high. I remember that. I did okay. And then I just didn't uh, practice enough in high school. I didn't make the team. Aw. I couldn't hit. That's why I pitched. I couldn't hit. Couldn't hit the dank baseball. I went to, <laughs> I went to uh, like batting cages. No, I would maybe make contact with like two or three. I don't know. I thought my hand-eye coordination was good, but not when it comes to batting cages. I suck. So I even put the lowest <laughs> lowest speed on there. It's like maybe we can build it up with the low speed and then gradually get better at that. Maybe over after time, I just didn't practice hard enough, play hard enough, or didn't have the right patience just sticking with it and you know that'd be ideal going the slowest speed then going up getting to the faster 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 obviously and then you got to get you know curve balls and breaking balls and learn how to hit all the different pitches good luck that's like one of the hardest thing if not the hardest thing to do in sports right is hit a baseball i mean you're considered good a batting average if you're hitting like what 250 Anyway, I turned right. I, guys, I, I'll be right back with you about baseball because I want to talk about the uh, World Series a little bit. Um, I think my uh, drop-off destination is around this corner. 
I can't remember. So I'll be right back. All right. Like I said, batting two for two. Not too bad. McDonald's and then only like a mile away from the McDonald's. That one said, that instruction said, don't knock or ring doorbell. So just set it there at the front door. I text them. It's something I do. It's not mandatory or not required. I say, uh, delivery here and have a great day. Take a picture and then complete the trip. I would say about just over half, 50, 60, 60% there probably will text me back and say, hey, you have a great day as well. Or thank you. I kind of like that because it's confirmation that, okay, they got they got their, their delivery. Because I don't sit there and wait for them to, to go out and get the, get the door, out the door and grab their bag. I'm on to the next, baby. Got to make my money. Anyway, you guys, that's the life of the door dasher. <laughs> Read those instructions. So sometimes it'll just say, what would you guys do? Sometimes it'll just say, don't knock. <laughs> would, you, would you ring the doorbell? Or if it says, don't ring the doorbell, would you knock? When people say that, I don't do either. I just set it there. I text them, take the picture, take off. But you're getting three notifications, right? I text them and I take, you know, there's a visual a picture taken. And then the DoorDash app will notify the person. I mean, that, that's enough. I mean, what do you want me to do? If, if you said you didn't get your food, or if you, you, if you didn't, yeah, if you said you didn't get your food, I mean, that, that's your own problem, man. It's right there at the door, unless I got the wrong house. <laughs> I mean, but man, I did everything but shovel it down your mouth. Maybe that'll be the next step. Can you feed me? Well, I'll, I'll do almost anything. The price is right. <laughs> if the price is right, like I say on DoorDash, man, I'll go anywhere. I mean, I'll, I'm in Washington State. I'll, I'll go make a delivery to Florida if you give me the right price. And what's the right price for me if I had to, if I had to go to <laughs> from here? Well, first of all, your, your food, if you're getting food, it's going to be, it's going to take a couple of days. So keep that in mind. But if from Florida, from, so here from Florida, from here to Florida, guys, I need more coffee. I can't talk hibbity shibbity. Um, I would probably need, I would take it if it said like 5,000, right? I mean, just driving there, it's going to be with the gas prices. Man, I'm here to Arizona in my Prius. See, I got a Prius, so. What was it? Three? How many? Four? Five? <laughs> I'm trying to remember how many Phillips I did. Five Phillips. And then Florida is a lot longer. I don't know, maybe about ten Phillips in my car? So there's like, what, 500 bucks? At least in gas. If I just sleep in my car, I guess. Anyway, I, I would need about five thousand dollars. So, if any of you guys from Florida request me to do a delivery, that would be a good video, huh? I would do it for. I would need at least five thousand dollars. I'll make a delivery to your house, guys. I always wanted to. Uh, actually, I spent a week in Florida, in Fort Lauderdale. I was on a TDY in the military, which stands for temporary duty. And I went to school down there for a Motorola school for like a week. I had fun in there. But I haven't been back since. And that was, shoot, that was over 25 years ago. So I like to see some nice beaches. Going here back to McDonald's. And I, and I you know, I just made a right turn there. There's a light. There's plenty of room between me and that last car. And that car, like, oh, he sped right up on my, on my, on my tail here. On my car, and like, no, look, I can just see it in his face. Look, look how close you were. You cut me off. Do you have brakes, buddy? Even though there was plenty of time between me and that turn. Some people, huh? They're like in their own little world when they're driving. Yep, I, I'm, I'm guilty as well. You know, I, I, like I said, I make goals in life. I make yearly goals, lifetime goals, yearly goals. 
monthly goals, weekly goals, make daily goals, guys. Sometimes I make goals just to not cuss somebody or give somebody the bird on the road here. Sometimes I fail. <laughs> there's just, you gotta admit, there's just some idiots on the road. All right, let me go into McDonald's. I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> What's the lowest you guys ever had? You door dashers out there. What's the lowest amount of money you were offered? I just, I'm sitting here at McDonald's. I got one for going to the original pancake house. I kind of like going there. And it's usually pretty good. But it was three bucks, guys. Three dollars going 9.8 miles. I I thought the lowest you can get was like 375. But now <laughs> three bucks for going just under 10 miles? Are you crazy? I guess they think I'm the sucker that will take it. That's nuts. You would be losing money as a door dasher. <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes I just don't understand. All right, not too bad. After that ridiculous $3 offer that I declined, I waited for about another just a minute, and here I am. McDonald's. So is this number three? Three McDonald's? Let's go get it. Not lead. You're not helping me out here, right? I guess you kind of are. You're keeping me awake. All right, got both bags. Pretty big orders. Big, like three or four big breakfasts. 20, <laughs> 21 minute wait. So there is like three or four other door dashers in there as well waiting. Here's just a long wait. A lot of people love their McDonald's, guys. Let's go. Okay, got that McDonald's one done. The not fun one. Well, we had two good ones, right? They were ready right away at the McDonald's. Now, the third one was, it wasn't very far away, her house, the customer's house, which is good, but 20 minute wait, I only made $6.50. No bueno. So we're on to the next, just keep moving forward, right? The customer's instructions on that one said, please make sure everything's in the bag. Oh, McDonald's tapes it up really well and they itemize it. I just look what's on the uh, receipt. Remember I looked in the bag one time over at, uh, I was in the drive-thru um, at the Jack in the Box because one time I went to that, that Jack in the Box and the customer um, texted me when I left, said, hey, that you, got, you forgot the... Uh, I think french fries or something like that i'm like oh man i said unfortunately she's like what do i do and she was new i said well you yeah, unfortunately you have to call the right procedure just call doordash and you have to get refunded or they, they credit you so the next time i went to jack and about that one i, I was at the drive through food i i opened the bag there was a little sticker i un unstickered it is that a word open the bag and the person that drive through goes you're not supposed to open the bag i'm like Excuse me, I've been here last time and you guys forgot an item. I'm going to help the customer out and make sure they have everything. You're not supposed to open the bag, sir. No. <laughs> okay. So if you want to follow the rules, I looked now. You're not you're not supposed as a door dasher open the bags, but if you want to break the rules and help the customer, you you know, you want to make sure everything's in there. Anyway, it looks like I'm going to the original pancake house here. I'll be right back, guys. Oh, the sun is coming out. So that means my sunglasses are in here. They are. Yeah. Now we look cool, huh? My future's so bright, I have to wear shades. <laughs> so I know where I'm going so I can chat with you guys for a while. What I was talking about in the earlier the video was the was baseball, right? The World Series. I know game six is tonight. I'm going for Philly. Go Phillies, because I'm not a Houston Astros fan. Anyway, I think the playoffs in the World Series have been pretty good, right? We've seen some, well, my Mariners in the playoffs, they they had this marathon of a game with Houston, 18 innings. I think it was a record. Yeah, it was. It was a, it was a record. It was a uh, the longest in history. We've seen some records broken so far, and uh, right, that's one of them. I think there's been a few more in the playoffs. Anyway, they had an 18 innings baseball basically they played two games 18 <laughs> innings and they lost they're out of it obviously with the world series here phillies and 
in Houston. Game six tonight. Astros have the lead three to two in this series. So let's go, Phillies. We got to win two in Houston. It's going to be a task, but they can do it. Let's go, Phillies. And then what? There was a no hitter the other day. Houston no hit the Phillies. So that was another because that was the second. Yeah, that was the second of all, if I read this right, second two, second no-hitter in World Series history. And baseball's been around since, what, when's the world, you World Series, you baseball fan, when was the first World Series? How many World Series have there been? And there's only been two, and I think the first one was a, actually a perfect game, which is even more of a, a rare thing. So, but anyway, the other night there was a, uh, a no-hitter. I sat there and watched uh, with my old man um, history. So that was cool. Unfortunately, it was against the team I wanted to win. But you got to appreciate um, a no-hitter. And that's the World Series. So watch that tonight. I think I'm going out with a friend, so I'll probably go watch it at the bar. I like watching the sports. I know the World Cup's coming up too. You, you guys like uh, soccer or you World Cup or football, as they say, uh, most of the world. Um, that starts, what, November 21st in the America team. The United States has got to play Wales. Uh, November 21st, I believe, uh, the World Cup starts. So I'm, I'm excited about that. Hope to catch a couple matches. So yeah, we got the World Series, we got the World Cup starting here in a couple weeks. <laughs> what else has been going on? What else? I have to look at my little, I wrote some things down here. American football season going on right now. We got the surprise. I'm up here in Seattle area right now. And uh, I guess I could say with Seattle, I don't, I watch them once in a while. But I mean, if I had to pick a team, I guess it would be the Seattle Seahawks. I'm not a diehard fan as I used to be. But uh, they're playing surprisingly good. No one thought Geno Smith would be this great. And uh, and their defense is coming around uh, of late. So I think we're, what, five and three? I could be wrong. But anyway, we're, we're playing. We're first place in our division. So that's a good thing. Go Seahawks. backed up here it's Saturday what is it 1047 1047 yeah it starts getting busy at this time on the weekend I'm heading uh, tonight to the casino with a friend so it should be fun got a room for the night there at the Emerald Queen Casino so I might make a little video on that and see how much I I'll try my luck. I'll say, see how much I lose, but let's think positive, right? We gotta win some money tonight at the casino. Anyway, at the original pancake house, there's a line out the door, but I gotta go into the other door because that's the one designated for pickups, for deliveries. This one, and it looks like there's something on the shelf. I'm hoping, cross my fingers, it's mine. And I'm gonna live park right by the freaking door. And there's a guy here crossing the street didn't even look this way. I, you know, there's people. People do trust people in certain situations. <laughs> Crossing the street is one of them. It seems like people are on their text. They're texting their in their phone. They're not looking up. Like, wow, you trust drivers that to, to be paying attention and to not hit you. I see that all the time. Crossing the street, looking down at their phone. Anyway, here I am at the original pancake house. Let's go get the order. All right, guys, bunch of food, 20, another 20 minute wait and some drinks. All right, we'll point the camera the other way. You guys are probably sick of seeing my face. Anyway, not so good again. So two good ones in a row and then two bad ones. What I mean by bad ones, it was 15, another 15, 20 minute wait here at the original pancake house. My goodness, you guys want to make some money build a pancake house if you build it they will come there is i think the whole town was in there saturday morning people love their pancakes 
all different kind of flavor pancakes. Anything you can think of, you give them the money, they'll make you a pancake. Anyway, didn't want to show. Well, my my windshield's still not clean. I need a I need a I guess hire somebody to clean my freaking car because I don't never do it. The windshields anyway. But yeah, this order was a big one. It had it was a Irish omelet. So I don't know if it's a green omelet or what. A um, bunch of pancakes, some strawberry crepes. Um, there was a sausage. Another, I think it's sausage omelet, something like that. A couple drinks, they said. Um, now, there's a few more things. Anyway, the bag's pretty big. I'm surprised they fit it all in one bag. Hopefully, oh, yeah, hopefully they got everything. I, I did a really quick look at the receipt. It looked like all the items were on there. Anyway, we got about five minute drive, maybe. Seven minute, maybe something like that, to the customer's house. Anyway, it looks like it's been a sunny day. Out dashing. I gotta meet somebody in an hour, so this has been my last one. Unfortunately, I only made like, I think, 30 something bucks. Man, it's two 20 minute waits. That just sucks, right? DoorDash is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. What else is happening? I shared a little bit of you guys with the Sports World World Series. And, oh, man, I ran out of gas the other day. Can you believe I... I haven't a problem with my uh, Prius. I don't have a... Um, you guys can see. Look at this. There's my dash lights. There isn't any. It's intermittent. They come on some days. Some days they don't. I did some research online. There's some kind of... Uh, capacitor that it's got to be replaced in one of the chips and it's like freaking they got to open up this whole dash up and it's like a thousand or something bucks and I'm just not willing to pay it my car's still running so knock on wood my car's still running <laughs> um, but anyway I couldn't tell when I got <laughs> I thought I had a, f a full tank I was going up in the hill and un unfortunately I was out in the country out in the middle of the country and um, I was like, what's going on here? I'm pushing the gas down, but there's no power. Uh-oh, what happened here in my car? And I looked at my gas app. Remember you guys, I know I, I have the get upside where you get a little bit of cash back when you use the app. If you're not, a, if you're not familiar with that, get that app called get upside. Uh, you can save some on gas. You can get some money back. Um, I've been using it for over a year. Anyway, I looked on the history and the app. I didn't get gas till like five days ago. I thought it was just a couple days. But anyway, so I had to go and I was out of an area where there's no cell signal. So I had to walk two, three miles uphill both ways <laughs> to 7-Eleven, find a, a jerry can. They had a two gallon jerry can at the Lowe's next door. 20 bucks for this jerry can. And then um, filled up walked back to my car, filled it up with the two gallons and then it started up right away and charged up the battery and I was on my way. Which I'm glad that was it. I'm glad there wasn't no major problem with my car. I'm the idiot. So I'm not too bad guys. I've, I've been driving for what? Shoot. I'm 48. I'm an old man. I've been driving since 16, so that's what, 32 years if I can do my... I've been driving for 32 years and I've only run out of gas twice. That's not too bad. All right, I'm almost at the destination. I'll see you guys here in a bit. All right, dropped off that one. Wasn't too bad. Just said drop off, or it wasn't as far as I thought. Drop off at, um, leave at door. That was the customer's instructions there. And ring their doorbell. They had one of those fancy doorbells. A lot of people have those with the, uh, I think they're called the ring ones. I think it was a different brand. You know, the doorbell that has the camera on it. I kind of just waved at the camera, ring the doorbell and that's it. Take off. Life of a, life of a delivery driver. The food has arrived safely and I'm so hungry. That's one, one thing about DoorDash. It could be a good thing or a bad thing. Um, if you have no money and you're hungry and you're smelling all this food in the car, hmm, 
Now I know why some door dashers steal food. I would never do that though, that's crazy. That's crazy, can you imagine that? I couldn't live with myself stealing someone's food. So yeah, you get free smells, free smells delivering with DoorDash. All right, it's kind of early. My friend said, no, I'm not even ready yet. I'm supposed to meet my friend over there at the uh, casino later on. So I'm gonna go do a couple more deliveries. Stick with me, guys. Let's see what we get. Okay, guys, I got another trip right away. Actually, I'm going to two places. A place called Bigfoot Java Coffee Stop and to McDonald's and then to one customer's house so that makes it easy down the hill here so it's kind of in a general area that I'm going towards the uh, where I need to be going towards the uh, casino get closer to there watch the game there tonight so I had a question for you guys. You ever buy? Um, well, you obviously you gotta buy groceries. <laughs> well, what's the um, the highest you've seen for grocery bags? Oh, it seems like they keep raising them up. I went the other day to Safeway. It, was, it used to be eight cents. Now it's like I think ten cents a bag. So I guess the solution, is, right? Bring your own bag to the grocery store. I know it's only ten cents. That adds up though. Get a few bags each time. Those pennies, those dimes add up. What's the highest you've seen it, though, in your area? Uh, buying bags at the grocery store. The highest, like I, I said, is, it's 10 cents. All right, let me get there. I got about another mile here. I got to get the Bigfoot Java. Hopefully there's not a there there probably is <laughs> a long line there. These you would think these coffee stands there's there's plenty of them here. Every every freaking parking lot here up in the north but has got a coffee stand. You would think there's you you build one, you'd be like, oh no, we're not gonna make any money. There's so many out there. Nope. If you come up here, guys, and you start a coffee business, dot coffee stand, you'll be successful. All right, let's get to this Bigfoot, this Bigfoot place, and uh, <clears throat> I'll be back. Well, there it is, guys. Bigfoot Java. We got a line here. I gotta make a little space so people can drive by here in front of me. And then we got what, one, two, three, four cars, and there's another car up there waiting as well. So, like I said, these coffee places. Been here a few minutes at Bigfoot. Bigfoot job. One good thing about it, I got the pickup here at the coffee. There's two pumpkin spice lattes, I think the customers have it. Then I gotta go over, you guys can see through this gate here. There's the McDonald's I gotta go to for her other part of her order. So at least that's cool. They're close by each other. And then I think the customer's about two miles down the hill. That looks delicious. Look, they got the apple spice, cherry crumble latte, pumpkin spice, and a pecan pie latte. Keeping it cozy. I think I'm in the right spot. I've been waiting here for a while. All right, I got both of Cindy's orders here. Let's go. Down the hill I go. All right, they got some, I think there's a bunch of uh, nuggets. And then there's a chocolate milkshake for the customer. Let's go. Chick-fil-A. All right, so the, the first couple deliveries of the day were thumbs up, thumbs up. Last couple is just, I live up here on this, South Hill Puyallup and there's this the road called Meridian it is just there's too many people that live up here and the roads are just they're all they're two lane roads it's just the roads can't handle 
all the people. It's just gridlock up here. And it's, man, it took me, got it pretty quick. I got the order pretty quick at Chick-fil-A, but it was like 20, 30 minutes to get to the person's house. And they only lived two miles away. I could have ran there. I rode my bicycle and got to the place, the customer's house faster. That's the way it is sometimes. <sighs> Let's keep moving on, huh? Anyway, I'm gonna, uh, I'm heading down to the, the casino. Wish me luck, guys. Hopefully I win some money. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. You guys keep me awake as well as my coffee does the trick sometimes. Sometimes I, I wonder though, but it tastes good. No, actually, I added some chocolate in here today. Oh, yummy, yummy. It's that time of year. I just, when it's colder, for some reason, I, I crave more and more of the hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy. In my tummy. Thank you guys. Hey, subscribe if you never see my channel. I know I don't ask that much, but uh, like I've said a couple other times, in life you gotta ask sometimes to receive. Go out and get it if you want it. Go out and get what makes you happy. Go do it. Thank you guys. Keep moving forward.